This is Shepard Humphreys and today I wanted to offer a few ideas, some things that you might want to look at before you decide on relocating a place where you live or where you start a business, where you do business. Hopefully these will help. A couple things today that I would like to talk about. First of all, if you're going to live somewhere, look at the laws in place, look at the direction that the place is going. It's going to be following Agenda 21, the United Nations Agenda 21. It's going to be following it somewhat closely, some places more closely than others. Uh, read Behind the Green Mask by Rosa, and it'll give you a good idea of what's coming, and then you can simply look at the area that you're interested in and see what you think is going to happen there. For example, right now I'm in Grand Junction, Colorado. Grand Junction is very much into Agenda 21. They are just all over it, think it's the coolest thing that's ever happened. I shouldn't say Grand Junction is. The people that rule Grand Junction, the city and the county and such here, they love Agenda 21. They love centralized control, etc., etc. So this would not be a good place to open up a restaurant or to buy some houses to rent out, because uh, you know rent control is going to come at some point. If you have employees, you know that minimum wage is going to go up. Uh, you just know that this is not going to be a friendly place for progress, for getting things done, creating new, new things. Uh, other things to look for are bicycle paths. If you see bicycle paths and you think you're going to build a farm or a commercial building or a house or some outbuildings or something like that, if you see new paved bicycle pathways, it's too late. Your county, the county that you're thinking about going, already has completely implemented sustainability Agenda 21 rules, and it is going to be practically impossible to get anything done. So just don't even don't even worry about the hassle of it. Go out to a more rural place and do what you got to do. And just know that that rural place, the laws are going to come there also, and it's going to change, and you're not going to any longer be able to to build a shed when you want without asking for a permission slip from your rulers. You're not going to be able to collect the water off of your roof or do any of the other basic human rights things that uh, humans should be able to do. There will be some bad people that come and change those rules eventually. So I'm just suggesting pick a place that might have a little while left before it gets too bad. Hopefully these tips help. Again, read the book by Rosa, Behind the Green Mask. And whether or not it all makes sense to you, having it in the back of your head as you think about your future is going to be very beneficial. If you're kind of a fringe kind of person that believes in conspiracy theories and uh, alternative stuff, you'll enjoy it also. But I'm uh, specifically recommending this book for my friends that have uh, had some financial success, maybe some good education, and don't typically look at uh, fringe things. This book, I think that you'll find if you read it, forget you read it, and a month later start thinking about it again, a lot of little things will pop up as you drive down the street. You'll think, oh, yeah, 